they sent us the, the clips of the preview and everything. And my daughter was in my lap and I received it on my phone and she was like, oh, mommy, Christmas. And I was like, oh my God, it's happening. Like my daughter's gonna get a chance to watch me in a holiday film. What was it like filming this holiday movie on OWN? I was just speaking with um, Eva and Deval about their movie and I was explaining to them how, you know, in recent years, we've really seen an uptick in holiday films with people of color as the lead. So that's been exciting to watch. How was it for you guys to be a part of it? Exactly what you said. It was a big deal because I, I grew up watching holiday films, you know what I mean? And I didn't see a lot of people that look like me. So to be able to star in one, um, it's kind of like a dream come true. Christmas is my favorite time of the year. Um, so the fact that, and it was so cute <laughs> the other day, um, they sent us the, the clips of the preview and everything. And my daughter was in my lap and I received it on my phone and she was like, oh, mommy, Christmas. And I was like, oh my God, it's happening. Like my daughter's going to get a chance to watch me in a holiday film. Um, and to be a lead. Um, and it's really cool because it's a story about a single mom raising her daughter and, you know, trying to figure it out and with all the hardships that come with that. And then, you know, finding love in a familiar place. It's just really cute. Um, so this this film means a lot to me. It really, really does. And I like that it was set in Philadelphia. I'm a, I'm a Philly native, so that was fun. Okay, come on, Philly. <laughs> That was fun for me to yes, be. Really. <laughs> so for you, Finesse, yes. your, your character, you Latoya's character's friend and your character's cousin is a part of the LGBTQ plus community. How important was it that we continue to see diverse representation on screen and in a film centered on the holidays where obviously the goal is to bring everyone together? Mm -hmm. um, what was that second part before LB, LBGTQ community? Oh, I just said that that was also a part, uh, you know, a part of the of the film. Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, you know, I read the script. It's so funny. I used to write, uh, give relationship advice in Essence magazine. And Angela Burt Murray was the editor uh, of Essence at the time. And so when my agent uh, sent me the script and I saw that Angela wrote the movie, I'm like, wow, this is coming full circle. And so I wasn't surprised to see everybody represented in the movie um, and to see different types of blackness in the movie. Um, and it really excited me that, uh, you know, Latoya was going to play the lead and 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 that it would only take, you know, two and a half weeks to shoot. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we went up to Canada and we instantly hit it off. And I, I realized that, uh, you know, just trusting the director, Lisa France, because there are some days that were extremely cold and mm. doing the walking and talking and feeling tears coming out of your eyes because the wind is blowing. You know, uh, it was great that everybody was just like, hey, we're a team. We're going to get through this. We're going to get the shots we need and it's going to look how it's supposed to look. So, you know, it was all all around a great experience. And Finesse, you mentioned that you were excited to see that Latoya was going to be a part of the film. And I was a little shocked. You guys got a little hot and heavy. I said, not on the Oprah Winfrey Network. So how was it for you to have Latoya as your leading lady in the movie? It, it was exciting because I read the original script and none of the kissing was in. And I found out she wanted all that stuff in because she okay. thought it would grow the characters <laughs> more. Uh, yeah, it was exciting because her instincts were right i think i, th I think it made it a better movie uh, no, I didn't well, like that's not how you remember it no 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 it was all there it was all there <laughs> it was all there now what we didn't know was that our first intimate scene would be our first scene on oh day okay Literally. out the gate the first action yelled or called was on the makeout scene in the kitchen with the flashback. And I was like, I don't know this man. We just had chicken <laughs> last night. And then we watched the Oscars and something happened real crazy on the Oscars. That's all I know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, now he's in his, he's uh, trying to touch my tonsils. That's all, that's, there was no preparation really at all. And then suddenly it was, you know, instant chemistry. And I think, you know what? 
it was kind of good because it kind of jump started that chemistry. Got that it right out, mm -hmm. right out the way. Right out the way. It became real personal, real quick. Yeah, so, you guys, you guys started it off being Mary under the mistletoe. I was like, wow. Right. Yeah. And yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Like that when you shoot like that, uh, it makes everything else pretty easy because now it's like you know each other, know each other when you really don't know each other. Because right after that, right after that scene, I was like, Latoya, you're late. Come on. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it just, yeah, quickly. Things developed, developed really, really quickly. So, um, but it was, it was, it was cool, man. I'm so glad that uh, we ended up having that chemistry early on. I, that, I feel like it made the rest of the, the filming process fun. Um, because we had we had to be funny in order for it not to be weird. Do you know what I'm saying? When you happen to be that intimate, that quickly, we only filmed this one in two weeks. Like mm -hmm. we were making each other crack up all day long. Um, so it was it was a lot of fun behind the scenes. Now, Latoya, with your ex husband in the film being a part of the music industry and it being a Christmas movie, I was just assuming that I was going to get you know a special rendition rendition of Silent Night at some point throughout throughout the movie, but but I didn't get that. However, when are you going to bless us with new music? Because your voice is needed. We miss your voice. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, well, I have a holiday song out. Um, it, it it came out right before the pandemic, so okay, I guess I can promote it all that, over that, again. Yeah, that was the world fell apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a fake out. So that was that was a fake out pr promo thing with that song. So you can go find "Love on Christmas" on iTunes and anywhere that uh, <laughs> music is located. Um. But yeah, I'll, I'll be doing some mu music soon, probably next year sometime. Well, it was a pleasure speaking with you both. I hope you enjoy your holiday season. Yeah. Uh, I have an album coming oh, out. You have okay. Well, you know, tease your tease your album. Oh my God. You know. Um. Actually, it's a it's a one hour comedy special. It's called Slightly Offensive. It'll be out uh, first quarter next year, and I'm really excited about it. And I do a little singing on there. It's not good singing, but I sing. Well, maybe since what toy is going to be recording, uh, you guys, you guys can go in and do a duet or something. Oh, yeah. maybe, maybe not. But um, yeah, good luck on that, Vanessa. It's great. Yeah. So excited. Well, have a very happy holiday season and good luck on the rest of your junket.